She sold this for $475 plus shipping. And she got this at an estate sale for $27.50. Talk about incredible margins. Wait for this. Are you ready? Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Are you ready for some big money bolos? I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from my featured YouTube members. That means they have joined memberships. I will link them all down in the description. If they have an eBay store and a YouTube channel, they will all be linked down below. So go and subscribe to the channels follow the eBay stores and get educated on what to look for. I know I'm getting educated by doing these videos. So let's get started. The first item comes from an amazing YouTube channel, The Rebel Reseller. Um, she is a bolo finder and she is just a great person and she knows her plush. If you want to learn about plush, she specializes in it, but she also knows a lot about uh, other things also. And I'm going to show you a couple other things that she sold as well as plush. So let's get started here with her first bolo item. And she sold these Disney Space Buddies dogs. They are plush dogs and they are so cute. Space Buddies is, um, I think it's, uh, it's either a TV show or a movie, but they have no helmets. And, uh, Light Playwear, it says. She got these at an estate sale for $2 and sold them for $71.95 plus shipping. Look at their little faces. How cute are they? The next item she sold is this. I love this one and I picked it because it's so unexpected. I've never seen it. Kids preferred. It's a pink bunny rabbit. It's got, it's like the shape of a star it's from 2003, so it's retired, probably hard to find, and somebody probably lost this toy and needed to replace it. Um, she got this for approximately a dollar. She doesn't remember where she got it. She sold it for $53.95 plus shipping. Let me see if I can find a tag. There's the tag. The next item is this toy, these Bright Stars Taggies plush lot. And I was talking about this in another video that I just did um, because another member of the channel sold one of these individually. And I was like, you know what? I get these in mystery toy boxes from the thrift store all the time. And these are the ones that I just donate because I'm like, nobody's going to buy these. I am totally wrong. People are buying these. So she put these all in a lot, which is a fantastic idea. I'm going to totally steal this idea. Um, but she sold these for $35 and 95 cents and she's probably got about $5 in all of them. These came from a viewer buyout. So one of her viewers reached out to her and said, I have, I think it was like a thousand plush. Do you want to buy them? And she went and bought them and there's more info on her channel about that. So they have been picking up more clothes. And I know I talked about this, like in this economy, people, are buying things that they need, not necessarily things that they want. So Rebel and her husband are reaching, reaching, are branching out to clothing items. And they picked up these awesome jeans. They're GAT, never heard of it, but they're these wide leg skater jeans. Check it out. And um, they got these at a garage sale for $3 and they sold them for a best offer of $80 plus shipping. This lamp came from the Goodwill bins. It's a vintage Mother Goose storyteller cassette player. Um, the Rebel Reseller also sells a lot of toys. Um, I think that's why I like her channel so much because I love plush and I love toys. And she's just got a great personality. Her and her husband, like in the videos, he does the editing and they he records while she talks and they have this great banter between them. So you'll really enjoy it. Anyway, best offer 55 on this guy. And she had about six bucks in it because it was kind of a heavier item. So pretty cute. All right. The next one we have is Butterfly Hustles. And I am featuring her, featuring her twice this uh, month. Um, she has been um, one of my longest members. And I just appreciate her so much. So you will see her bolos in two videos. But these are different bolos. So she is getting close to 2,000 subscribers. Go and sub her up. 
And she sold this Enterprise Approach and Test and Landing Award Certificate and Metal Flown Medallion. And she got this at the Goodwill for $5 and went ahead and took a best offer of $150 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this vintage Pearl Crest Nylon Lace Hem Petticoat Slip. This came from the Goodwill bins. If you see these petticoats, there is definitely a market for them. I just sold one recently. Mine was antique, but it took a long time to sell. I don't know how long hers took to sell, but I'm going to say they probably range depending on it. Mine was not as fluffy and mine was not in near as good a shape as this, but she got this for um, by weight at the bins and sold it for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. One thing that I always tell you guys is I learned about selling straw hats from Butterfly Hustles. And I pick them up when I see them now because they are definitely, they range from bread and butter to big money. Um, this one right here, she ended up taking a best offer of $30 for it. And she got it at a thrift store for $2.50. We're kind of getting out of the season um, for these types of hats because these are more of like a summer hat. Um, but here it is. This is what the tag looks like and a nice little bolo. So some of them can go for like upwards of $100. Yard Sales and Dreams, another great channel. She is fantastic. And she does a lot of like go yard, yard sale with me, we'll call them videos. But they're also educational and she finds some really great stuff. Here she found this Dracula blow mold and she got this at a yard sale, I believe, for $10 and sold it for $100. And the buyer paid shipping on that. Look how cool he is. Any Halloween, Christmas blow molds, definitely do your research on those. And if you can get them for a good price, they are definitely a bolo. They are a pain to ship, in my opinion. Um, but people just sell a lot of them. This is a vintage J.H. Lynch. It's an art print. Um, Really, I mean, looks to be in excellent condition. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, yeah, that might be just the paint. Back's a little rough, but look how, like, detailed and bright and the front is. I think it's great. She got this at the Goodwill for $10 and sold it for a best offer of $199.99. I love this one. I was like, you got to share it. It's the Hasbro, Hasbro Muppet Babies Vinyl Plastic figure Henson. Uh, Henson is what it says on the bottom. Let me see if I can find that for you right there. Oh, actually it doesn't. H-A, maybe that? Hmm. But Jim Henson is the, the Muppets. Let's see what this one says. Maybe that one says it. Yeah, that one says it. Okay. So it might be, um, different brands there, two different sets because they look different. I don't know. I didn't look at it too deep. I thought it was only two, but there's actually five here and they are cute, cute, cute. Um, she got these at a yard sale for $2 and sold them for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this Montgomery Ward summer catalog. It's a mid-century modern fashion household 1960s catalog. This is so cool. She got this for $5 at a garage sale and she took a best offer of $30 plus shipping on that. This right here is a giant Minnie Mouse and she got this at the Goodwill for five bucks and took a best offer of five. Uh, I'm sorry, a best offer of 100. And if you don't know, these little chairs, this chair that it's sitting on, those can be a bolo also. Um, but the chair was not included for display only. Awesome Burger. They are also on Whatnot. So go follow them over on Whatnot also. Um, I am going to be on Whatnot someday. I keep telling you guys that. So I have a link to my Whatnot down below. And if you use that link to join, you will get a $10 credit to shop and follow Awesome Burger while you're over there. And Franklin Hill Ventures is another one um, to follow. All right. These Disney Store uh, toy aliens, they are, think for, are they from Toy Story? Is it Toy Story? I think so. Um, but they got these at the Goodwill bins and sold them for a best offer of $30 with free shipping. Cake topper would be a good uh, thing to put in the title for this. 
These Converse Chuck Taylor double zipper women's shoes came from an estate sale. They paid $5 for those and took a best offer of 50. So Converse definitely look those up if you see them. Usually they have a pretty good sell through rate. At least I've done pretty well with them. So this one kind of caught me off guard. I've never heard of this. It is a Nomadics Wise Walker khaki light blue orange messenger crossbody bag. Um, so this is what it looks like. Don't know that brand. There's the tag. They got this at a garage sale for $2 and flipped it for $61.79 free shipping. Uh-oh, I got to look at my cheat sheet. Nonies. I was like, is it nonies or is it nonies? So she spelled no knee for me. So it's nonies treasure house. Um, I didn't want to get it wrong. So I didn't think I would explain it, but I guess I did. Here we go with another awesome eBay store. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. That is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Great store. So check her out. She'll be linked down below. Um, she said she knew about this bolo because of my channel. So thank you for the shout out. She got this Kelly toy Nintendo Luigi from the Goodwill for $2 and sold it for $79.99 plus shipping. The next item is amazing. It's this Lucite confetti purse. Uh, it's silver in color. Look at this. It is incredible. Oh my goodness. Incredible. She got this um, at a garage sale for $2. Are you kidding me? $2 and sold it for full asking price of $219.99 plus shipping. This is a vintage 24 petites cho choses Dresden brass reef animals. And she said she saw this on the nurse flipper and, um, She's like, I have one of those and she listed it and she sold it very quickly for $60 plus shipping. She got this at uh, Salvation Army for $2.20. Cat feeling thrifty. She is a new member and this is her store. Incredible store. Look at these items. Very cool. Lots of Halloween stuff. Oh, look at the elephants. Oh, so cute. Chalkware. Adorable. Great prices too. All right, she sold this vintage Trifari signed rare peas in a pod brooch, green enamel and gold tone. She got this at an estate auction and paid $24 for it and took, oh, nope, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm sorry. She got it in an estate sale for $5 and it sold on auction for $232.49 plus shipping. The next item is this Louis Vuitton monogram eyeglass case. Um, she got this at an estate sale auction, paid $24 for it, and took a best offer of $150 plus shipping. Free shipping. I lied. Okay, this Olympus Stylus Epic Zoom point and shoot camera set. So it's a camera. Got this at an estate auction for $16 and sold it for $200 plus shipping. This one, I love it because you probably would walk right past it. It's a Disney ornament sketchbook 2012, the Aristocats ornament. Look here, these cats in a basket here. Let me show you, um, hopefully the bottom. Is there not a picture of the bottom? Oh my goodness. Sorry guys. I like to find the markings, but I'm not seeing the markings on this one. Maybe it's back here. Nope. Okay, well, anyway, regardless, um, she said it's a very rare ornament. She got it at a yard sale for $3 and took a best offer of $170, and this one went global shipping program. Dolo Deals eBay store. Again, if you want to follow the stores, you can save the seller by clicking the heart. So definitely do that. Great way to uh, get notifications, like if they post a coupon or if they list new items. This is a vintage hand knit Angora sweater. She got this at a garage sale for 10 bucks and sold it on auction for $129.48. Check that out. The next item is this Granddad's Wonderful Book of Chemistry by Kurt Saxon, first edition, 1975. Got it at a garage sale for a dollar and took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. This is a vintage Goodyear tires blimp advertising toy model. And I think it's incomplete is what she said. And she got this at a garage sale for $3 and sold it for 55 plus shipping. 
All right, we got Philly Flipper, whose channel is also growing like a weed. Oh my goodness. He has fantastic garage sale videos. And over the winter, he was going to auction houses. So I'm guessing he's probably going to bring that back also. But he is in the process of moving. So we are going to see him sor sourcing in a new state. All right, let's see. Um, I don't know if he's going to change his name from Philly Flipper to something else or not. We'll have to stay tuned for that. All right, let's see what he sold here. He always has some really great bolos. I picked this one because it kind of caught me off guard and I would have walked right past it. So I'm imagining that you may have walked past it also. It's a crafts, Craftsman Stubby Nut Driver set. And he got this at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for $78.41 plus shipping. This blow mold, again, vintage blow molds are a fantastic pickup. He got this at... Um, a blow mold buyout. I don't know how many he got, but his approximate cost of goods for this was $12 and he sold it for $100 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1993 Kyle Petty Mellow Yellow all over print NASCAR shirt. AOP, not sure what AOP stands for. Um, it's a men's small and he sold this for $110 and he picked it up at a yard sale for $1. The next item, I love this. They're Coca-Cola Crocs. Are you kidding me right now? Um, they look really to be in great shape. They kind of look like they are they have a high heel on them, right? Um, he got these at a yard sale for 10 bucks, took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. Money Making Mama. Now, I love her type of sourcing. It's not for me. It's not what I do, but it always amazes me what she is going in and finding on clearance. And her specialty is lotting things up and selling them in bulk. So let me show you what I mean here. These items came from Walmart when they were on clearance. They are um, Central Park Black Latte Coffee Lip Balm. She got 22 of them for 10 cents each. So 22 times 10 cents. So is that $2 and 20 cents? Am I doing math right? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but she ended up taking a best offer of $42 plus shipping for that. So somebody who loves this could be buying it, but possibly a reseller even. All right. So this is Old Spice deodorant and she got this at Ollie's. It's another discount store. She paid $1.49 each for these and she flipped them for $39 with free shipping. The next item are these Scotch Bright Disposable Toilet Scrubber Refills, 12 count. Um, and there's eight of them. And she got these at Dirt Cheap. That's one of her favorite places to source items like this. And she paid $2 each for them and sold them for $37 plus shipping. So go check out Money Mica Mama for more tips on retail arbitrage selling in bulk. Mindful Recycle. All right. I did already feature Terry um, in another video this month, but she is a uh, moderator of my uh, Facebook group, which is quite the task. And she just had some really huge money bolos. So I wanted to share those with you guys here at the end of the video. She sold this Department 56 Elf the Movie Gimbal's Department Store Retired Rare Set she sold this for $475 plus shipping, and she got this at an estate sale for $27.50. Talk about incredible margins. Wait for this. Are you ready? Okay, so she sold four of these, and she has one left. She got these from an estate sale, paid $5 each. She sold one for $599.97. Uh, another one, she took a best offer of $539.97. Another one for $539.98 best offer. And this one was $474.97. So if I remember correctly, this one sold first and it sold like super fast. So she increased her prices. And good thing she did because she got what, an extra almost $200, no, over $200 on one of them. And another 50, 60 on the other two. So 
and she still has one listed. So talk about an incredible find. World Geographic Atlas. Incredible. They are brand new. So I'm sure that helped get maximum profits. Okay. These are, um, I'm not really sure how to say it. I should know how to say it because I guess it's pretty famous. Is it Dione, Dione Quintuplet Cons, Cos, Oh my gosh. Composition, composition, Alexander vintage toddler doll set. It's four of them. Now she said that she started the auction lower because I think there's supposed to be five, right? Is it five or six? What's Quinn? I don't know, whatever quintuplet is, but she was, she only had four. So she started the auction and it ended up selling for $217.50 plus shipping. Um, somebody did say she should have got over a thousand for these. I did go over to Worth Point and look at solds. They were kind of all over the place. Could she have gotten more by doing a buy it now with the best offer? Quite possibly, but she also could have had this auction go completely crazy if, um, the right people were looking for it at the right time. So you just don't know. But Worth Point was telling me that because she only had four, this was more of the price range. But if you can get all of them, the complete set, they can go for huge money. So um, definitely a big money bolo to be on the lookout for. And that is, again, Terry Mindful Recycle. Check out her channel. You will learn so much. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to join memberships, you're more than welcome to. Um, level two gets you in this video. Level three gets you an additional share in my Facebook group. Um, no pressure to join. It's just if you want that extra exposure. I appreciate you guys all being here and watching. I do memberships to help people grow um, their, their channels and get exposure to their eBay stores. So um, it took me about six months to figure out something that I thought would be beneficial to people because I didn't just want to do memberships. I was kind of hesitant and actually a toy addict uh, encouraged me to do it. So she is one of my first members. If you're not following toy addict, she is fantastic. Go and subscribe to her channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an emoji of something your favorite emoji, the weirdest emoji. I don't care. Just an emoji. Thanks for watching.